Welcome back and what we're going to do during this particular video is uh, continue down this path of exploring access control and we're going to do that uh, within the framework of a data classification model. So we're going to talk about data classification. How do we classify data because if you're going to restrict access to that data you may have different levels of uh, data associated that you want to uh, protect. And um, the, the one that's probably most prevalent out there is the military model. So if you look at the military classification scheme, um, you have this idea of unclassified information, sensitive but unclassified information, confidential data, secret data, and then top secret data. Uh, having been a member of the uh, military, I can tell you there's a level beyond top secret data which is called special compartmented information. And that is the information is so top secret that we want to split it into different parts. And those different parts are sent um, separately and then reassembled at the end. Uh, and there's one level above that even. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that. Within uh, the university system of Georgia, we actually use a much more uh, simple model. We actually uh, use open records as our, uh, there's a law in Georgia uh, uh, that says um, most data should be available to the public. Uh, so it's an open records law. And what we do is our data classification scheme is based on um, tier one being everything that is subject to open records. And so all of those open records uh, are available and I don't really need to protect it too much because anybody can just write a letter or send an email saying, hey, I want access to this information and uh, to uh, gain access to it. So we don't, we don't spend a lot of time there because it could be in the front page of a, a newspaper. Uh, then the second category is all those things that are excluded or exempt from the open records law. Uh, so personally identifiable information, BERPA, HIPAA, uh, data, uh, uh, those types of sensitive information I want to spend my time protecting and focusing on. And so that's where we have uh, built our data class classification model within USG. And as you can see here, this is the uh, model uh, associated uh, with uh, uh, the US military. And as I said, there's actually two tiers beyond top secret, or you could say uh, maybe, there, maybe the military considers some subcategories. All right, and the idea behind here is that uh, each user uh, of uh, information asset has a security level and each segment of data has a uh, security level associated with it. And it's interesting, sometimes it's really not classified at a certain level unless certain information is pulled together into one particular location. And this sometimes will cause problems. You'll have information within the military, for example, that was classified secret, but you could go find on the CNN website. And, and what it was is most of the information was there, but there were some small components that were not that led to that different uh, classification. And then sometimes your security uh, classification of data will change over time. What may be embargoed information or, or, or classified information at a certain point, later on, everybody knows about and it's, it, it's not classified uh, at that particular point. So uh, anyway, uh, you've got these roles and security clearances that are associated with data and it should fit your organization. Um, as you might imagine, this goes back to the need to know principle, which we talked about during the last video in terms of access control. Security clearances provide a mechanism of limiting access uh, to information to make sure that it's aligned with uh, what you need uh, within the organization. All right, well, this concludes this very short video that's talked about uh, security uh, clearances, and it's talked about it uh, within the idea of um, data classification. And I've given you two examples, one that's uh, tied to the military and one that was tied to the university uh, system of Georgia in terms of how we do our uh, data classification. Thanks for listening to the video and what we're going to do is finish up during the next video uh, our look at access controls before moving into security uh, architecture models.